All who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Welcome back to Know Before You Go Disney. I'm John. And I'm Nicole. Our daughter Kaya and her boyfriend Nick are gonna help us out by trying all the churros at Disney's California Adventure today because that is way too many churros for just John and I to eat in one day. That's right, and the first place we're gonna hit up is Willie's Churros right here between Grizzly Peak and Carthay Circle. And they have a candy corn churro. She doesn't like candy corn, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, it's caramel corn. That didn't go as... as uh, so they're out of the caramel popcorn right now. So he's gonna call another churro stand and see if they can get us the caramel popcorn to use. It's 10 a.m. so the park's been open two hours. Let's see how it is. Is it pretty good? Pretty good. <laughs> right off the bat, you get the caramel drizzle on it. They kind of put more of the, the caramel corn like in the middle of the churro, so, but it's pretty good churro overall. My turn. All right, go ahead. For someone who doesn't like caramel, it's pretty damn good. That's so yummy. I love the, the popcorn the, with the caramel on it. It's so yummy. It's Make, so corny. <laughs> no, it is. It's really good. Sweet and salty. I think the popcorn on it's pretty good. And a shout out to the cast member making it because they didn't have the caramel popcorn. So he had to go and get some. So compliments of Mickey. So another churro stand is located in the Hollywood Studios back lot. During the Food and Wine Festival, they did have a specialty churro, but right now you can just get your plain old regular delicious churros for $4.75. I have a I have a muscle injury, pre-diagnosed arthritis <laughs> pre -diagnosed. in uh, in my uh, shooting hand. Who won, you or me? <laughs> I guess it's. Muscle. I won. I won. I it was me. I won. I have a question, Buzz. We're gonna go get some churros over here at Senor Buzz. Should we get the uh, Galactic or the Caliente? The first 
first or second? Oh, the caliente. All right, we're gonna go get it right now. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. The next stop on our hunt for churros is Senior Buzz's churros across from Toy Story Mania. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you can smell it. So we're gonna try this monstrosity. I'm super scared. It smells like red hot candy. Oh. Tastes like red hot with like Tabasco sauce or something. Ah! <laughs> it's not the best churro I've had. Turn. Everyone I heard that gets it says it tastes like red hot. But it, it's pretty, it's good actually. I don't think it's got that big of a kick afterwards. It's not bad. It's, it, the um, smell of it is uh, very aromatic. And so it kind of scared me at first because it does have that cinnamon smell, that red hot that everybody tell, tells us about. But it's not that bad. It's actually mild. Bad? I wouldn't get it again. You better grab a tambourine. Bring a base, we might be wicked. We may be forced to cause a scene. I'm really excited about this next churro stand over on Pixar Pier across from the Jumpin' Jellyfish. They have a specialty churro along with the regular churro. The specialty churro is the Celebration Mickey chocolate churro for $5.75. It's chocolate cookie dusted with chocolate icing and sprinkles. I just gotta say the first one we tried today. I like this one better than the um, than the one at Carsland for sure. But I'm gonna be with Nick on this one that the caramel corn one was better this morning. I like the the popcorn flavor with the sweet churro. Chocolate dust kind of tastes like Oreo, like dead ass like. Oh, dip it in chocolate. Dip it in chocolate. Okay. It's okay. Maple bacon will make up for it. So you got the chocolate cocoa powder dust on it they were talking about. I say it's a little bit better than the other churros today just because it's hot. Like it's warm. The other ones I think were cold. They weren't that warm. I'd rather have this in your buzz churro. Really? You'd rather have this in your buzz churro. I know they say it's good, so they say like B plus. B plus. Well, like our, our rating scale is just like thumbs up, thumbs down, B plus, oh. four out of five. We're just all over the place. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. So the Maple Bacon Churro Stand is located on this little pathway here between Redwood Creek Challenge, basically uh, Grizzly River Run behind me, and the Little Mermaid. So this is the only place in all of the Disney parks, at least here in California, where you can get the maple bacon churro with the maple drizzled on top and the ba real bacon on it. They had so many churros, even though we shared them, I really didn't even want to get this one. Right, let's see how it is. The maple complements the churro itself pretty well. You can never go wrong with bacon on anything, so. Oh, okay, now I taste the bacon. It has like a roundhouse kick of flavor. You want a bite? It's like, do I even really want any more churro? No, that's a negative ghost rider for me. What? This one, you don't like it? I'm not a big, big caramel fan, you know? Oh, so. well, this is maple. Anyways, go ahead and uh, if you guys like the video, leave a comment down below, thumbs up. Let us know what your favorite churro is if you've tried any of these. Uh, we're gonna be doing another churro video for Disneyland side, so look out for that. And, uh, No before, no before you go, go Disney. Disney. Disneyland has now ended its normal operating day. Drive carefully on your way home. Good night.